Tesla Gigafactory Nevada has hit an incredible milestone by producing 1 million battery packs, according to an image of the expensive battery facility that was recently shared online via the Tesla Motors subreddit. Gigafactory Nevada's 1 millionth battery is an achievement that cannot be overlooked considering the uphill battle that the electric vehicle maker and its battery partner, Panasonic, had to go through. The two companies have continued to ramp the facility's battery production, despite being hit hard by supply chain challenges. The Giga Nevada team commemorated the special occasion, with some employees taking part in signing the battery pack. As per the image posted on the Tesla Motors subreddit, a section of the battery pack's sign read, We have officially built 1 million packs at Gigafactory Nevada. Since starting its battery manufacturing activities back in January of 2017, Gigafactory Nevada has played a major role in the Tesla's overall operations. The facility does not manufacture EVs, but it makes the 2170 type battery cells and powertrains for Tesla Model Y SUVs and Tesla Model 3 sedans, which are Tesla's two mass market cars. It should be noted that Giga Nevada was initially pitched by Tesla's CEO Elon Musk at a time when the company was only able to produce Tesla Model S, a mid-volume EV. And while Tesla's all-electric Model S sedan was an impressive vehicle that proved that EVs could be better than their fossil-powered counterparts, there were still evident reservations about whether the demand for electric cars is long-term or not. This and other skepticism surrounding Gigafactory Nevada made this capital-intensive facility a risky venture. Some of the reservations were highlighted in the 2014 MIT Technology Review, which stated that EV sales had come nowhere close to justifying the construction of Giga Nevada. However, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk believed that his car company was capable of creating an expensive market for EVs. To accelerate this, the company has been looking to deliver over 10 times as many electric cars per year as Nissan managed in 2020. Nissan delivered more EVs than any other vehicle maker, despite Tesla's Model S costing about several times as much as Nissan Leaf, the electric automaker last year managed to sell as many electric cars as Nissan in the United States. Mr. Musk also believed that a huge factory would significantly lower the production cost for batteries, which remain one of the most expensive components of EVs. By lowering the production costs, Tesla could produce a mass-market electric vehicle similar in cost to its rivals like the Chevrolet Bolt or Nissan Leaf, but impressive in terms of range and charge compared to its competitors. Tesla's continuing to prove skeptics wrong, as its Model 3 was also named the best-selling vehicle worldwide, beating out many ICE cars. Simultaneously, the Model Y crossover that's currently powered by Tesla's 2170 batteries and powertrains from Giga Nevada also became a formidable competitor in the auto market. With this in mind, Giga Nevada's domination would likely remain for years to come, and chances are high that its 2 millionth battery pack would be produced in the near future. At the Battery Day event last year, Mr. Musk promised that Tesla would achieve 100 gigawatt hours of battery production by 2022, which was beyond optimistic. However, recently the company has reached production yields of around 80%. In a typical Tesla fashion, the company's target of 100 gigawatt hours remains, but the time scale seems to have slipped considerably. For instance, in 2017, Tesla's all-electric Model 3 sedan production was about 84% behind what Tesla's CEO Elon Musk had initially promised. And even this month, there were further admissions of delivery delays on the Tesla Roadster, Tesla Semi, Tesla Cybertruck, and the $25,000 Tesla electric vehicle. Besides the battery packs, there are more than 2,700 EV charging stations in the world, with around 25,000 superchargers owned and operated by Tesla. The company also boasts a wide range of vehicles, tech and software for its upcoming autonomous vehicles. In the past, Tesla critics questioned how electricity could be generated from environmentally friendly sources. For instance, Toyota's chief and Washington Post have stated in the past that EVs are overhyped. However, the electric automaker Tesla 
has made sure its superchargers are powered by solar energy in most charging points. As for home installations of chargers, Tesla has also made sure that electricity cannot be controlled. The companies also embarked on offering energy storage solutions for homes and companies, which again depends on consumers' preferences about their own Tesla superchargers. As Gigafactory Nevada celebrates its 1 million battery pack milestone, the company's other battery production facility at Gigafactory Berlin is reportedly revving to start operation soon. As Tesla's planned battery cell factory in Grünheide prepares to awaken, the German government has started finalizing a subsidy package that could give U.S. electric vehicle maker over $1 billion in governmental funding. According to a spokesperson from the Economy Ministry, Tesla is expected to receive state aid before the end of 2021. Earlier this year, the European Union Commission under the European Battery Innovation Project approved a plan that includes giving state aid to automakers to boost the production of EV batteries. A total of 2.9 billion euros, approximately $3.5 billion, would be set aside to encourage the innovation of the local battery value and help companies shift away from fossil fuels. Among more than 40 companies eligible to benefit from the funds is Tesla, which was listed under battery cells and systems, recycling and sustainability. As a part of the wider European initiative to establish a local battery industry, Economy Minister Peter Altmaier confirmed last week that Opel would receive 437 million euros in government grants for its EV battery production facility in Kaiserslautern. Tesla aims to pump in 5 billion euros, approximately $6 billion, in its battery production plant near Berlin to complement its electric vehicle plant, the Giga Berlin, that's set to the production of German-made vehicles this October. Besides benefiting from 1 billion euros in public funding from the government, Tesla could count on another state subsidies of 1.14 billion euros, according to a recent report from Germany's Tagesspiegel newspaper. While Tagesspiegel has suggested that Tesla intends to use the subsidies to create over 2,000 more jobs in Grünheide, the company has previously shown plans to hire over 10,000 people at the facility. In the past, Elon Musk dropped plans to build a large EV plant in Berlin and confirmed that the facility would also house the world's largest battery cell factory. According to Mr. Musk, the upcoming battery production facility in Berlin is supposed to become the company's first in-house volume production of battery cells. It will help the company to meet its EV demand in Europe. Last month, Tesla's CEO said he hoped the company would begin the production of the Tesla Model Y at its facility in Berlin in October or even sooner. The automaker has frequently pushed back the expected opening of the facility, blaming bureaucratic hurdles in the country. The facility has also been facing environmental groups over concerns of pollution and water usage. Despite facing resistance, Mr. Musk has been bullish that the company will receive its final approvals to start operations by the end of the year. Once Tesla's new battery factory at Gigafactory Berlin receives its final approval, it should ramp up the production of the long-awaited 4680-type cylindrical battery cells. The company is also refining these batteries at its Cato Road plant in Fremont. It aims to produce the new Model Y SUVs with 4680 cells and a structural pack at its two upcoming new Gigafactories, though Mr. Musk has hinted at Tesla's rolling out the production of the all-electric crossover using 2170 cells instead. When the 4680 battery arrives in volume, it will be another step towards improvement of electric vehicle capabilities. At the moment, though, it looks like the battery may arrive 12 months later than initially promised, or it will end up being even further pushed back. It's worth noting that Tesla may not be the only automaker innovating in EV battery cell technology. Other manufacturers like Volkswagen, Apple, Stellantis and more have also awoken to refocus on electric vehicles and electric vehicle batteries. What's interesting is that most of these companies have also teamed up with local European battery makers and suppliers. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.